Hey, Dr. Reed, you're kind of pretty and giving everyone your XP's. <laughs> well, don't put such, you know, suggestive texts if you don't want me to go. Ooh. Ah, it's made you a woman, work. eh? Sorry, lady, I'm a bit robbing your house. What good fortune brings you back to me, Jonathan? Everything but good fortune. <laughs> what is it, my dear? I'm afraid it's bad news, Elizabeth. The worst, actually. Please, speak up. Where Edgar do I start? In McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is our good friend now? Is he well? Of a sort. His injuries were mortal. I had no choice but to make him one of us. To save him. Or to punish him. To punish him? I fail to understand. And what is the source of this cold tone in your voice? Edgar Swansea was responsible for the Skull epidemic, Elizabeth. It was he who unleashed the deadly scourge upon London. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible accusation of all. Oh, it's how terrible! He sought to cure the disease, to exploit vampire blood to stop the epidemic, but he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. All those poor victims. How could he do it? What happened? Uh, <laughs> dumb, dumb, Edgar's dumb, dumb. His behavior was beyond lunacy. He had neither the discipline, knowledge, nor the proper facilities to conduct blood experiments. I must say, I'm shocked, Jonathan. Who would have thought it? And the poor patient. Let me guess. It was Harriet Jones, was it not? Yes. That explains how Doris Fletcher was infected, and how she became an icon. She secretly visited her mother at Pembroke. Then we have no choice. We must act quickly, Jonathan. We must return to the sewers and put an end to the threat poor Harriet embodies. I have one more matter to discuss with you. Harriet Jones was the primary case, but... Do you know what a healthy carrier is? There is a tone in your voice that frightens me, Jonathan. What are you trying to say? It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment on Harriet Jones. What? No. No. This can't be. Oh. You make many skull babies. Are you all right? Uh, no, I have to go. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Save the city, Jonathan. Save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear I never was your Wait. enemy. Wait. No. Elizabeth. Let, let her have a mental breakdown in peace. She deserves it. Now, what can I? What else can I rob? Bloody night tragedy. Only a few of us remain. May we all remember William Marshall. Oh, wait. Was William Marshall your maker? We are in what we seek. I had the privilege of speaking with the knight many times. His progeny is his friend. No, no, no. But, but, but you had a chance to talkie talkies. Speak to me of the tear of angels, the holy beverage supposed to appease the in extinguishable hunger we all feel. He went on a holy crusade into the jungle to find the holy, holy tear glass thing. Good. Uh, I hope that she's doing great with that mental breakdown. Wait, are we gonna be ins inserting his blood into Miss Harriet Dearest? Because according to my quest, we will. I was just searching for that staircase and was just running away from me. I know that staircases normally do not move, but this one did not stay still. 
Or rather, I've made a rectangle and continued running around it, even though that's not where I was supposed to go. More shillings. Good for me. I like those. Now would be a good time to blend the recipe Marshall used when he fought the disaster. I think oh I my. know where to find what I need. Let me guess. Locked. Yep, locked. You all just go away. Thank you. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, I can't teleport here. Apparently, teleporting is a bit sacred. Whose blood? I'll let them pure. Be, 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 be. Purer than that of William Marshall. Lord Redgrave will have to spare me a drop. Hello, Lord. I know that you absolutely despise me and such, but. I'm here to rob your place. I hope that is okay. You're not human, so I don't actually need an invitation. I just need to kill you all. That's a lot easier, isn't it? I'm still... Persona non grata in the Ascalon Club. If I want to speak with Lord Redgrave, I'll have to improvise. Why did you not get rid of corpses yet? <sighs> yeah, okay. You wanna go that way? You go that way. Fine with me. Which way is my... That way? How am I supposed to find you? Mr. Who teleported past me, where did you go? <laughs> I think I was supposed to fight you. I do have... Your basement key. But that I could also just do that. You're hunt? Are you hunting someone besides me? Sorry, you're not going anywhere. A little twat. Do you believe that the game wants me to fight him though? Because the moment I ran past him, the game went. Wait, what? Hello. I'm back again. It's a me, Mario!
Yep. The thing is, I let four completely expire. charge at me. There, now it's completely expired. Well, we can verify. Oh! Lovely little corpse. Should I really go out? Somewhere or... Hello! Good evening, Lord Redgrave. What are you doing here, traitor? I shall smite you for this audacity. I smited someone at the door. Grave. I can put an end to this epidemic, but I need your assistance to do so. Good. We've held out thus far, but the time has come to put an end to this crisis. Tell me, what do you need? The blood of William Marshall. The blood of William Marshall? Of my maker? Are you mad? This blood is the purest of all. My maker proffered it to me on the battlefield. I cannot hand it to you. This is more important than the club you or me. This is London's last hope. I see. Well, in that case, given the gravity of the situation, I suppose I can spare you a drop. Thank you, my lord. If you manage to save this city, you'll prove yourself a veritable servant of the crown. So Godspeed, Dr. Reed. Our fate lies wholly in your hands. Oh, and collect your goon off your carpet. I hope you're not too mad. He went for a nap there? After I... bit and... bludgeoned him to death? Hope that's okay. I do like how he completely, like, abandoned me when you're not welcome here anymore. And then I was like, Keef. He was like, okay, I guess I should. But why do you need it? Well, it's my last hope. Okay. Ain't questioning it. One thing that we're gonna do when we drop by at the hospital is we're gonna craft a whole lot of consumables for ourselves and we're not gonna be using them. Reason being is I can sense the end of the game approaching and no way in hell am I going in without at least some amount of At least some amount of consumables. Played the whole game without me? Because I was all like, I need that for crafting medicine and shit. I don't think I need any more medicine anymore. Unless I, of course, sleep a lot. The game performance... I, I don't know whether or not it's because it's 
close to the end, whether it's because my computer is getting dusty, but at the moment it's completely shitting on itself. And including my sound quality too. I would restart, but I have a feeling that that might be the complete death of my system. Though it should not happen again, but... Might... I am a bit interested to see if this I place... I cannot use garlic, but there may be a substitute in the Pembroke Hospital drugs. Oh, store. oh, this, this place is still okay. Well, that's nice. I would like to go to the proper hospital building. There is apparently a special event going on too. Never had a chance to eavesdrop on the people in that room. Don't think that there is a special event. Oh! Dr. Swansea has new- He's back already? Does that mean that he's alive? You survived and you didn't come over to tell me? Actually... Do you exist? Because the game is like, oh, new dialogue is available. And I'm like, where? I don't think that he is around. <laughs> At least he shouldn't be. I'm just gonna scan for signs of life. I think I can scan the top floor as well. Yeah, he is not here. Game, stop tricking me. Now, where are my consumables at? <laughs> 